It's kind of unprecedented because we didn't actually go to so many places. Um, it's, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. You know, so we tripped into Tokyo, we tripped out to London. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a choice that I've made, actually. Because, I mean, this might be, I reckon this, this might be my only shot at being participating in Eurovision. And, uh, I'm planning to make the most of it, so, so that's why I'm, I'm doing all this thing. You know, for, and also, since a like, big dream of mine has always been to, to, to do a big tour to work, and I feel that I'm going to go to the I really want to uh, uh, yeah, do as much as I can to make that happen, take the opportunity while it's presented to you. You say it might be your only chance. I mean, so it was third time lucky. You know, we had Academy and we had um, Happy Glory. Yeah. Um, okay, results aside, which of those three is your favorite? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say that Heroes is, is the, like, the song that's closest to, to what I, I want to do. I mean, Heroes yeah, is very good. It's still a good song for Heroes as well, but uh, uh, they represent what I was trying to do. I mean, it's, 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 you kind of gone from a pop version of Shaw to actually, you know, modern day European pop music. You know, there's a lot of um, influence in your song that you would find in a chart, you know, across Europe, particularly in the United Kingdom. It's a very, um, I wouldn't say EDM led track, but it is, it's got that electronic element to it, as well as the, um, I would say, like a beachy sound, you know, when you change it up a bit from your, your standard verse to a you know, voice. So, yeah, I, I can understand that's a, you know, good um, like generation improvement, isn't it? From like one, you start at one, you move on, then you go to the Absolutely, and, and I've been, you know, my last album sounded a bit more rock, poppy, but now I'm kind of like, heroes would be a little, somewhere in between. You know, and my last album, I'm kind of like, where we are. Um, so last week I was now, uh, you told uh, my colleague Eva um, about the changes that you made with the video screen near the man that's changed the lot. Yeah. Um, my question to build on that was, are you bringing the, old, uh, the LCD screen from Melody Vista to Poland, um, or are you just going to use the screens that are provided um, in the Vienna Arena, or can you not say anything? I don't, I don't know what I'm, what I'm allowed to say, but okay. I'll, 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 Never mind. I'll, 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 I'm bringing it to the same. It's not a screen actually. It's, ah, a, it's just a projection. wooden wooden wall. Oh, right. But it's a projection. Yeah. Thing. And uh, we're bringing the wall and we're bringing the projectors. So, so I'm bringing the same show. So, um, so effectively, it's um, just a bigger <laughs> arena. I mean, Friends Arena is massive, but it's it's a bit, it's, it's okay. It's a smaller arena but a larger scale. Yeah. Um, for Vienna. Okay, that's fine. Um, so of course you've now finally won the Liga of Honor. Um, so, is this the end for Mon Sentinel at Melody Festival? And you posted it, you performed three times, you what, Canadian was second, was Canadian was second, Hope and Glory third? Canadian was third and Hope and Glory fourth. Fourth, yeah. And then of course here is the win. So, what, is this all for nothing now, not that? Yeah, you think I should participate again and go for the silver medal? Yeah, I mean, uh, that makes some sort of fun collections. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, no, but I, uh, you should never say never. No, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm still a huge fan of this as well. I would probably be in there in some way. So I'm, uh, I'm not saying this is the end. I mean, you could take a leap out of the Terra Mall Finals book and create your own character like Linda Woodruff and then, you know, start Terra Mall of Europe. Yes, uh, that would be great. Yeah, it would be great. Um, <laughs> What's your aim for Vienna? I mean, there's, uh, there's a lot of talk going into Eurovision, of course, this is quite open. Have you set yourself a goal for what you want to personally achieve? Is it that you want to go back to the stock of the Is that the goal for you, or have you your own goals as well? I'm, I'm a very competitive person, and of course, I mean, winning is a big like, final objective, but uh, I would say. To be, I just need, need to go up there and, and, and make them uh, do my best. And, 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 I mean, in your vision, you never know what's going to happen. So, so uh, first, first of all, I'm, I'm aiming for the final, but uh, in there, I would want to be well, top five. Yes. <laughs> You co that I'm going to use the foot, which of course makes them Was it a bit strange to actually affect you two entries? One of which you whistling on, one of which you won. What was it like? What was the whole experience of working with Edam? Um, coming up with a song that you did for us? It was really, really much fun. I mean, I've been working a lot on my song over the years now. I think I've become a professional at the uh, I thought we did a great, great job, but it was, it was, um, 
it was kind of odd, odd to have two, two entries in the game. Um, you were announced, especially if I would have come to on the council as well. Uh, and Conflict of interest. Yes, and, and had to had had to perform against the uh, That would have been really awkward. Um, I don't think the producers would have put you two together. Probably not. Think. Probably not. You never know. No, you never know. I mean, I think the weirdest thing I was going to say is you, you actually the you know, composers were announced in the green room. Of course, you pop up here in the first semi-final yeah. with Bellang's presentation, and it just it was one of those kind of I don't know almost out of body moments where you're looking at you're going you're not even performing this time. <laughs> <this song. laughs> no. You know, that was different. really strange. That felt really, really strange. Yeah. Not, not, yeah. not being able to like uh, affect anything mm. on on stage. Mm. Like just, to, I've written the song. That's as far as I've been. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I like being an artist. Artist better. Like, song <laughs> like um, have you spoken to Sandy and Dorian um, about actually going to you originally? You spoke about even Roma Panda. Have you actually yeah. spoken to anybody else who's been there and asked for any tips? Actually, I've been Robin two years ago. Uh, but we didn't speak about that at all, actually. <laughs> I mean, there's so much talking about your vision now, so when you actually meet your friends, you, you don't want to. No, <laughs> no it's understandable. <laughs> but uh, I'm planning on calling. Uh, I know, oh, know that Eric Sabe had some business on his phone. So I'm planning on calling him yeah. yeah. for, for some advice. Yeah. I mean, it was a. Uh, it was a competitive final in Melodic Scotland uh, this year. So, did you have a favourite which wasn't your song, or wasn't the one that you wrote for Ben O'Neilly? Was there another song in the competition that actually you may have wanted to sing yourself, or is there a song that actually you found yourself getting up and kind of dancing to? Absolutely, I mean, I, I love the Hassan Lajan song. I think it's every a very, does. very Swedish song, uh, but I love him and I love the song. Uh, but also, Mariette was my favourite, I guess. I, I love it's pretty different. Song. Very, it's very different, and, uh, but she's a great singer. And, and, so, yeah. and uh, one final, um, kind of small question. Um, so, of course, so you have made three Melody Festival finals, um, but only one of them had the international juries. Two of them had the international juries. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, you go from Academy, I mean, third, and it was all on Swedish juries and Swedish public, and it used to be viewed at 12 points, 22 points, 44 points in the public. Do you think the new change in the system where you have an international set of juries giving their points and their opinions? As well as the percentage vote in the ten of do you think that's a better voting system now having experienced both? Uh, I do, I do. I mean, I, I think that it's really important that we send something to the region that that uh, could work. And, uh, and I love the international for that reason. And they had a really. Uh, they had really good taste this year, so, so I'm, really, I'm really happy with it. They them. had good taste with Hacking Glory as well, but you know. Yeah, oh yeah. Very good all. But yeah, the Swedish audience, the audience did it that year. But that's quite interesting because, of course, um, the Romy Quemba, yeah, yeah. Yeah. won yeah. by coming second in the Shadow Boat. Is there, yeah. And of course, you won by the so that's, you know, redundant. Um, but do you think that's a bit, you know, it's a bit interesting where, like, for example, Hacking Glory didn't win, and, but of course, you did top that jury vote. Is there a bit of an element where you think, yeah, okay, I could appeal to the European audience with this, even if it's Swedish? Germany gave me 12 points. Is it, can I go and take that there? No, not really. I mean, um, of course, the main the main thing is to get the Swedish audience. That's my like main market. Yeah, that is my main market. So, so that was the big thing for me. And, and, and getting the international votes were just a bonus, obviously. But um, but it's always fun to be like, and they were, yeah. Uh, I, I talked to some of the, the jury guys. They're giving me a lot of uh, self esteem, confidence, uh, coming into your vision. We've got a message for the, uh, for the readers. Or something you want to tell your fans and uh, the people who might watch this, as well as they will. We really hope you like Heroes, a song about everyone being able to be a hero, everyone okay. being able to be a role model, uh, and I hope you like the performance as well. Uh, I hope, and hopefully it's a, an effect that uh, you haven't seen before uh, that I'm producing on stage. Uh, so I'll see you in Vienna. Yeah. Thank you very much.